This is a very gregarious group. I'm glad you're all busy chatting and having a good time. And um, as I look around the room, um, I'm so grateful you all came and took the time in your busy day. And this is November, the month when we're most thankful. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you in this room. So on behalf of us at the BBNA, I want to welcome everyone to our second annual donor appreciation luncheon. Thank you for your support of our agency. Your generosity has allowed the BVNA to serve our patients for over 113 years. Because of you, each and every one of you in this room, last year the BVNA was able to touch the lives of over 10,000 patients and their families. So I want to give a round of applause to everyone in this room. So if you're so inclined, we would appreciate your sharing with us what motivated you to give us a gift or a personal story or anything, why you like us, so we can use it as a testimonial. And to that purpose, there is white paper with lines on every table in the middle. There are pens. And feel free to write down anything you want or email me or call me or come by and visit because I want to hear all your stories. And we're always interested in what our um, patients, our friends, our supporters have to say. So please say something to me, OK? Thank you. <laughs> And um, I also want to express my most sincere gratitude to all at Mansfield Bank for sponsoring this event and allowing us to have this amazing luncheon. So round of applause for our sponsors. Thank you. You'll be hearing from them later. I'm, we're not going to stand between you and lunch, don't worry. And then a shout out to Gary's Farm for their kind donations of table decorations. It was all donated. And a big thank you to That's Tasty owners Claudia and David Denell and their two sons. She's waving over there. for catering this luncheon. And for those who know me, as much as I would have loved to have cooked for all of you, I don't think my kitchen is nearly big enough. And besides, that's tasty is scrumptious. So I think you're going to love the food. And a big thank you to Amy Cameron Bennett. Where are you, Amy? In here? Oh, there she is. <laughs> for, for her special hard work on this event and to my colleague Andrew Eve for his last minute help with everything. And i um, very appreciative. And I also want to recognize Beverly Pavisaris, who's working in the back of the room. Everyone wave to Beverly. Our immediate past president, who is still working in the room here. So Beverly, thank you. And, uh, now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Robert Ford, our current BVNA president, who is now leading our efforts to provide superior care to our patients. Thank you, Bob. Thank you very much, Robert. It's distinct. That, uh, that's, a, that's a big setup. Hopefully, I can live up to that. Uh, I want to thank you all for being here. I'll be brief because the food smells so good, and I don't want to keep you all from that. As you all know, we're a community-based home health organization that provides care to the patients in the Brockton area, and our goal is to deliver high-quality care to all of our patients and meet all their needs. Sometimes, meeting those needs requires us to deliver care that we don't get adequately compensated for, and that's where you all help support us in meeting our goals. Through your kindness and your gener generosity, we're able to deliver care to our patients that, some that we might not be able to do otherwise. So I really want to say thank you. You guys help us meet our mission and meet our goal. And please enjoy the lunch. And now, it's my extreme pleasure 
to invite, if you look at your agendas, our premier sponsor speaker, Shanika Rogowski, the Chief Revenue Officer from Mansfield Bank. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> what a wonderful lunch and event. Oh my goodness, the food is delicious. Mm. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shanika Rogowski. Uh, yes, I am the Chief Revenue Officer and Senior Vice President of Mansfield Bank. Um, but what I can tell you is the real role that I have at the bank that is much more passionate and closer to my heart is the Community Investment Officer. And that's really uh, more what I'm here today as. As a community investment officer, I am um, able to oversee and promote the uh, employees at Mansfield Bank to come out and volunteer their time, very similarly to how many of you um, also donate your time to the Brockton DNA. And we also get to uh, donate a lot of our profits to various organizations. And uh, one that I'm very proud to be a part of today is the Brockton VNA. Uh, it was wonderful getting to know the Brockton VNA. I, I went on your website and started to learn a little bit more about you. And um, being able to be a part of your donor um, group of, amongst all of you really is, is wonderful. And um, seeing your mission that you look to provide innovative and exceptional health care service exactly. to many individuals um, in their home, you know, in the communities that we actually also serve at Mansfield Bank. And we have a number of those patients here today, so you're going to hear from uh, one of them later on. Yes, so thank you very much. Um, enjoy your lunch, enjoy your dessert. And uh, I will hand it over for the rest of the speakers. Thank you. And I'd, I'd like you to stay here for one moment. Thank you first. And uh, we would like to present you with a certificate of appreciation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awarded to Mansfield Bank. And thank you for sponsoring our second annual donor appreciation lunch. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, where's Patty? I'm, I'm doing safety first. Don't worry. I'm making sure no one's tripping on this cord. So, <laughs> thank you very much. And this will lead us to our first guest speaker. And uh, I'll. Um, I'm so pleased to introduce our BVNA grateful patient speaker, Laura Foreman Rose, who suffered a stroke in February two days after her beloved husband, Robert Rose, was rushed into the hospital. Laura has kindly agreed to tell you what happened in her own words, so come on up. And by the way, Laura just happens to be my beloved mother, so I'm very glad. Please. Can I put it right here? We don't look alike, right? <laughs> Whoops, and I'll hold this for you. All right. I'll hold it. I'll hold it if you mind. Okay. okay. Hello to all. <laughs> Our story started in February 2017 when my husband Bob was transported to Brockton Hospital to check out the pain in his knees. While there, it was discovered that his appendix had ruptured and his health would not allow surgery to repair this. With an uncertain recovery due to the grave condition, I found myself quite upset and not feeling well. My daughter insisted I be checked out as my condition working, and it was discovered I had suffered a stroke. On Sunday, February 5th, instead of preparing to watch my cherished team, the New England Patriots, <laughs> Pound the Atlantic Falcons. <laughs> I was admitted into Brockton Hospital where my husband was already fighting for his life. The hospital did a miraculous job of handling both our treatments and the care we received was excellent. I did a brief stay at Life Care Center of West Bridgewater where I was also well cared for before I came home to outstanding care from the Brockton visiting nurse. 
I would like to thank all the physical, occupational, and speech therapists and nurses who came to our home for several months to care for both my husband and me. They are truly devoted and caring people. They gave us various exercises and showed us ways to be safe and to prevent falls. I feel I am back 100%. My husband now does not need a walker or a cane and is doing quite well thanks to the exceptional care he had from BVNA. We had a telehealth machine installed to record his vital signs. And if the nurses saw something recorded that was too high or low, they would call us immediately and ask us to recheck the reading. My husband and I, along with all our family, are so grateful to the Brockton Hospital for our initial care, Life Care Center for our in-between care, and most of all, to the Brockton visiting nurses for never giving up on us and getting us back to be able to live safely at home. We are very fortunate to have such wonderful health care in our community. I hope everyone knows you don't have to go into Boston anymore. The best choices are right here. <laughs> I am also <laughs> I am also very happy that my daughter Cheryl Savage chose to work at the BVNA and be part of this remarkable organization. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. That was amazing. I don't want you to trip, so I'm fine. Mom, am I allowed to say your age so we can, uh, you know? My mom is having her 90th birthday party this coming Sunday. And when, when I talk about that I live in this community, you can see that right here and now. Because um, three years ago, when Beverly Pavisaris recruited me to come here, I said I wanted to come here because this is my community, my family, my friends, and impacts my life every day. So um, that's why I'm so passionate about being here with all of my wonderful colleagues and all the good work everyone here does. So. Thank you, Mom. And uh, I am delighted to now introduce Heidi Bork, our family member of a grateful patient, as a continuation of the words from our grateful patient, my mom. Two years ago, my mom married the handsome gentleman sitting next to her, Robert Rose, and I am blessed with a beautiful new family, including a dad and three lovely sisters, two of them who are here today, Heidi, who's going to speak, and Sharon, who's sitting right there. So, round of applause for Heidi. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for asking me to speak on behalf of my family and our experience with BVNA. I'm the daughter of Bob and Laura. In February, my dad suffered a ruptured appendix with many complications. At almost the same time, mom suffered the stroke. Both were hospitalized, followed by life care, and eventually home with services. When they were released home, BVNA worked tirelessly with two determined people. As you can see, those strong-minded individuals are here, back at 100%. It would not have been possible without the dedication of your team. I can't begin to tell you how grateful we are for the care, the commitment, and the professionalism of every nurse and rehab specialist. Prior to the visit, the nurse would contact me, following up with a progress report of the visit, all with the permission of my parent. Keeping the family updated on the progress of a patient is important for a full recovery. If we had a question regarding their health, BVNA was right beside us, guiding and helping the entire time. There were no words to describe how we feel as a family. Thank you for everything that you've done for my parents, my family, and especially for every person, every patient, and every family that you touch. BVNA deserves the respect and admiration of all. Thank you, BV BVNA, for everything you've done for my family.
Heidi was very nervous about this, so she kept telling me she was going to faint. And I said, don't worry, we have plenty of nurses here. So you did a great job, and every word she spoke was quite true. And um, we were all blessed. Sharon will attest to that, myself, my brother. And um, we we're very fortunate to live in this community and have Signature Healthcare, Brockton Hospital, and the excellent care here at the BBNA. So. And what my mother tells you to do, you have to do. So don't anyone, you don't have to go into Boston anymore. So. <laughs> well, it, and now it is my um, pleasure to introduce Priscilla Mueller, who is a long-standing board member and a member of our 1904 Legacy Society, to say a few words. And if you'll remember, Priscilla was inducted into the 1904 Legacy Society last year. And we wanted this young lady to give her perspective. Thank you, Priscilla. As Cheryl said, I have been involved with the Brockton Visiting Nurse for a lot of years and knew how important it was in the community. But never did I realize how important it was until I was a patient of the Brockton Visiting Nurse. About a year and a half, I fell and cracked a vertebrae and went through the whole business of nursing home care and so forth. And thanks to Paul Sullivan, who got me back on my feet again, who has done that on several occasions, and I am so grateful. My also, my younger daughter, who has experienced uh, back surgery and has been very, very ill, and she keeps saying to me, who do I thank at Brockton Visiting Nurse? Because when they came and I was in such pain, they called the doctor, they did all kinds of things to help me. So it's nice to have the agency, but it's also wonderful to be available, to have it be available when you need it. And I certainly thank them for that. And uh, Bob, can you come up here for a minute? And uh, Bob and I both want to congratulate this young lady as it is her birthday on Friday. We have a pretend candle, pretend it's lit, and um, this is congratulations. And Bob, did you want to say something as well? Well, she wanted me to sing happy birthday, yeah, but, I, but won't <laughs> I won't subject the crowd to that. So, happy birthday. Well, thank you. And I said, I'm going to be 95 years old. And so I guess that's a good testament to Brockton Visiting Nurse. This, this young lady is going to be 95 years old. So, Mom, you're a youngster. So. Happy birthday and many, many more. And now, and desserts are being put out, you can probably smell them now. I'm just going to briefly tell you about the 1904 Legacy Society, which we do as part of the Donor Appreciation Luncheon. And this is our second year for our planned giving group, the 1904 Legacy Society. And briefly, um, for those of you that might be unaware, a planned gift is a contribution that is arranged in the present and allocated at a future date. Commonly donated through a will or trust, planned gifts are most often granted once the donor has passed away. However, to recognize this level of commitment now, we've established this special group. Become a member just by telling us you're going to remember us at some point in the future. We have two members to be inducted into this caring group today. Mary Lou McNiff, a past BVNA president, and Ray and Robert Barker, who are former patients of us, and they will be inducted posthumously. And will join the ranks of our members from last year, Priscilla Mueller and Ian Lawrence, who also was inducted posthumously. And we could not think of a more extraordinary gathering to do this at than this luncheon, already filled with our generous and committed donors and friends like you. Thank you all. Round of applause for all you. Thank you. 
and I would like to ask our president, Robert Ford, to rejoin me to award two special certificates. So would Mary Lou McNiff please come up here? Yep. And we'll go in the front here so everyone can be seen. Just don't want anybody to trip on the court. <laughs> Mary Lou, a certificate of appreciation is awarded to you, a founding member of the 1904 Legacy Society. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, with the speakers, right? I mean, the mic's right there. Okay. We can, you can welcome to stand at the podium. Show my side. I don't want to show my front. <laughs> Baca, and, um, and it is Baca in 
Andrew. It's not my accent. It's not Baker. It's Vodka. So, um, <laughs> and then he he passed, and then his uh, lovely wife Ray. Uh, we took care of her for many years, and she had no family left. She had no friends left. Um, she had a neighbor that helped her out. And on December 31st, this past year, we, I got a phone call, and this wonderful woman walked in the door and came up to me and said that she was distributing checks from an estate, and they handed us a check for $38,000. And this was just a wonderful gift, made Larry very happy. And, um, <laughs> and I found out we were one of three recipients. She also gave um, an equal amount to the hospice that it cared for her and to the local animal shelter in Brockton, which helped her pets greatly. So um, <clears throat> we will definitely put this up and we will always remember the Bacchus and the generosity. So thank you all for witnessing this. <laughs> In my opening remarks, I talked about how your help and your, your generosity allows us to deliver care that we need to our patients. And we know that's very important, but why is that important? Well, the why was just answered in a recent study from the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine. They found that patients that go home with home health services are 40% less likely to be readmitted to the hospital than patients who go home with just an appointment with their physician. So, that is the why, that is the reason, that is how you guys are helping us live our mission and deliver high quality patient care. So thank you very much and enjoy the food.